Hey guys, what's going on? It's Talk Force TV. I'm back. It's pretty much late show for me. But there have been some news breaking out since I last did my video. Did it around 6 o'clock. Pretty much so. It's been confirmed. George Grant has signed a three year deal. I did report it up with that he's looking to extend this first day. It has been rumoured one year and a three year deal. But it has been confirmed today that George Grant has been offered a three year deal. Obviously, Mark Wolverton been impressed with him whilst he was on the knocks and seen how he played that. So, obviously, he's done enough to get him some three year deal. I'm probably I'm expecting him to go back on the to get more first team experience and actually gain more experience. Because I think he's a young lad, he's finally making his trade out for us, and that, obviously, he came from Nike Academy. So, for us, this is his first proper pro club. So. Oh, and obviously he has been out on loan to um, Notchtown, so he's getting experience and all his hard work past couple years shown by Mark Warburton giving him a three year deal, so it is good news on the lad and hopefully he does develop and all that at Forest. The other bit of news that came out of Forest today, came out, broke around just after the George Grant deal actually. Where we, um, that kind of man, uh, man at Honey, the Blackburn midfielder that we are being linked with, and actually we are putting a bid in for him to actually sign. Um, it has been notified by the Evening Post tonight, suggesting that he has agreed personal terms with Forrest and is coming down for his tribunal, so up uh, medical. And it is expected for it to be a tribunal because obviously it's under 24, so under 24 players do actually have to do a tribunal, so it's all happening. The Blackburn midfielding is coming down for medical, and now Forrest starts trying to deal with Blackburn to actually for him to um, really get get a, um, his contract done and dusted and actually get this fee sorted. If we don't get sorted by the clubs, it will go to a tribunal where Forrest will have to. Might have to pay up more, so hopefully, if I was trying to try to deal early on with Blackburn to sign him on July the 1st when this contract does run out at Blackburn Rovers. So it's quite good that Mark Warburton is starting to build. Now, we are waiting on the burning striker Jason Cunnings. Um, so but it is looking good that Ron Anya is as a good person in terms of forest. He probably will know that he will get first in football at Forest more than Celtic and obviously Mark Warburton interesting player and obviously it's looking quite good so thank you for watching Talk Forest TV please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel and that's it thank you, agree.